When it comes to reducing the uncertainty in measurements, the idea of precision is used. By definition, precision means the smallest marked gradation or graduation of an instrument is its precision. Let me explain here with this pressure gauge. The Look at the PSI numbers, the black numbers on the outside. Here is 30, there's 40, 50, 60. The precision of this instrument is 10 PSI between there's 30 and 40. There are no other graduations or gradations between 30 and 40. If a PSI value is 35 or 36, you have no way of knowing it. The instrument's precision is 10 PSI tops. On this one, this one is more precise. The precision of the instrument is 2 PSI. Between 20 and 30, you can see 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. With this, you can determine pressure more precisely. Precision has nothing to do with you. Precision is not subjective. Precision is objective. It has to do with the measuring instruments as objects. And precision is a quality that the instrument carries with itself and is unchanging. The precision of this instrument from measurement to measurement is not going to change. It's always going to be 10 PSI. The precision of this thermometer will always be 1 degree on the Celsius scale here. Between, yeah, between 20 and 30 you can see 9 gradations. 9 gradations, 10 parts. Each part, 1 degree. And there, each part being 1 degree. That's the instrument's precision, 1 degree. And lastly, on this micrometer, the instrument's precision is one ten thousandth of an inch. Its smallest gradation here is one ten thousandth of an inch. Now, the precision of the instrument dictates the quantity, the number that is generated off it. The significant digits in a measurement in a measurement come from the direct reading digits from an instrument as per its precision for example on this one you can say that the temperature now there we go that the temperature now is 24 degrees it the instrument's precision is one degree and you can see that the red fluid inside is at 21, 22, 23, 24th degree mark. So the number 24 is a significant digit because it can be directly read off the instrument without any rounding, without any guesswork. However, you have to go beyond the direct reading digits and in measurements you have to generate an estimated digit. The estimated digit is, now I'm heating it up and it's changing, now it's 25. The estimated digit in this case would be 25.0 because now the red line is exactly at 25. There, 25.0. In case of this bolt here, if I wanted to determine its length with this centimeter scale, the precision of my instrument is one centimeter. Its length would be six point something. Six is my significant digit, and I would need to make an estimated digit, a non significant digit, after it. A non significant digit is not the same as an insignificant digit. They are not insignificant, they are just estimated or non-significant. So 6.5 centimeters would be somewhere here. And so for the length of the bolt, I'm 
estimating 6.4, 6.3, both of those are equally valid and e equally reasonable. So that's how precision works to generate the precision of an instrument helps generate a significant digit and a non-significant digit in measurements. In the next video I'm going to show you how calculations are done with the concept of greatest possible error.